Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video for you guys and I wanted to sort of give you guys that historical content that I always give you. And so when it comes to the kingdom of Kush, we always talk about like who were the real descendants of the Kushites. And I think there's a very, very big misconception of who the Kushites were or who the people of ancient Nubia were. And one thing that I do want to get off of my chest is that no, I do not believe Nubians or Arab invaders or anything like that. Because admixture in, you know, the ancient Nubia is, is not something new. You know, it's been happening for a long time, at least since the Neolithic periods as well but what is true is that you know there was an admixture between ancient north african or afro asiatic looking groups and the nilo saharan or nilotic looking groups people who look like me and so i wanted to read you guys some descriptions of what ethiopians look like or what what kushites look like okay so in a paper from becker 2011 it says studies of the pertinent greek and roman sources did not yield many new results most classical documents merely confirm older reports about the biological characteristics of egypt's southern neighbors and the composition of the nubian population nonetheless they do contain some additional detail relating to the groups which occupied inner libya the hinterland west of the nile greek documents refer to the nubian rulers of the 25th dynasty as ethiopian the word ethiopis first appeared in the 8th century bc works of homer considering its meaning burnt face this expression appears to have been slightly less biologically ambiguous than the term egyptian nehesu the 6th and 5th century bce philosopher and poet Xenophon described the Ethiopians from the region south of Egypt as black and flat nosed. Slightly later, in the 5th century BC, Herodotus distinguished between Libyan Ethiopians, the woolly, and eastern Ethiopians with straighter hair. He also pointed out that the Ethiopians of the Nile Valley were often exceptionally tall. Aristoteles was probably the first to employ the term Nubian. He used Nubai as the name for a tribe which occupied the area west of the Nile between Meroe and Lungola in, during the 3rd century BC. Strabo included this tribe in a list of Ethiopian groups in the 1st century BCE. In the same century, Diodorus wrote that Ethiopians encountered close to the Nile were black, flat-nosed, and woolly-haired. Herodotus did not only locate Ethiopians along and on either side of the Nile but also south of the Fezen. Strabon mentioned Nubai in inner Libya as did Ptolemies in the 2nd century CE. Both Ptolemies and the 1st century CE author Plinus the Elder did however refer to small groups of white Ethiopians inner Libya and Libyan Egyptians as well. Moreover, various passages written by, for example, Herodotus, Strabon, Ptolemaeus, I don't know how to pronounce these Greek names, indicated that Garamentes of the Fezen used chariots to raid the Ethiopians of the African interior. These sources also imply that Garamentes were in regard to their own status as Ethiopians, either not a homogeneous group or a population whose ancestry was mixed describing an ethnicity reminiscent of a situation in inner Libya. Procopius reported that many different ethnic groups inhabited the Aswan region in the 6th century CE. Among these groups were large tribes of Blimei or Nobate, Nubians, e.g. Alexander, all the sources. And so what can we see here? Well, we can see that the ancient people of the Nubia region were a heterogeneous people, with some people having straight hair, I think these were probably more likely Cushitic or Afro-Asiatic speaking peoples and then other people with flat noses and woolly hair, which probably related to the more Nilo-Sahara and maybe Nilotic speaking peoples, um, especially with the concerned people with extremely dark skin like me. And so these observations do support the idea that the ancient Nubia region was a place that housed many different Nilo-Saharan languages as well as Cushitic and Afro-Asiatic languages as well.